Hey guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video and today I want to talk to you about something that I've been meaning to do for a long time uh, and I decided to make this video because it is something that is fairly important and also related to my YouTube channel here uh, and related to the content that I'm going to be able to be pushing out in the future. Uh, now, as all of you know, uh, as my main device, I do use, or as my main portable cell phone of choice, or smartphone rather, I do use an iPhone 4. Now, I have been part of Apple's ecosystem for a fairly long time now. I did start back in the year 2008, I believe, um, where I picked up the second generation iPod Touch. I'm not sure whether it was in 2008 or 2009, the year that the second generation iPod Touch came out. Uh, I've been with Apple ever since then. Uh, before that, I was too young for a cell phone, as my parents told me and I, with my own money of course and my allowance, was not able to afford any of Apple's extremely highly priced products uh, at the time. Uh, but I'm 16 now, I make a lot of my money off YouTube and my allowance and selling old things that I don't need online and so I've been fortunate enough to be able to afford a lot of these products such as my MacBook Air over there, that, which I actually did recently upgrade. That is not the MacBook Air on the video that you guys saw a while back and I will probably have that video up on the channel soon. Also, I would like to apologize if you guys keep seeing me looking there every once in a while because uh, that's where the screen for my camera is and I like to keep monitoring uh, what I look like on screen. So if I look there occasionally, please do forgive me. So what I was saying was that I've been part of Apple's ecosystem for a fairly long time, uh, but I haven't really used all their services such as iCloud, etc. Uh, really the main Apple services that I use on a day-to-day -day basis are iMessage and Essentially, that's about it because a lot of the services that I use on my phone are like Facebook, uh, Twitter, Google Drive, Instagram, Vine, um, and a lot of the Google services because I'm fairly well integrated with Google. I don't, of course, use Google Plus because very few people do, and really, it's a social network. Social means interacting with people, and barely anyone that I know in real life is on um, Google Plus, so it is fairly difficult for me to work out and find people on the social network, uh, people that I don't already have on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, so the reason I wanted to make this video, guys, was to tell you about me switching to Android. Now, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time uh, because um, a lot of people would tell you if uh, they have iPhones, um, and I will probably have an overlay or something on the screen now, that iOS has got very, very stale over the, over the years. Like, I've known iOS since, or I've been on iOS ever since version 2.2.1, and trust me, since then, not too much has changed. Now, I'm just going to give you guys a look at my iPhone here. Really, this is exactly what the first generation iPhone looked like when it came out, or rather the iPhone 3G, um, besides for the additional wallpaper. I mean, Notification Center was added recently, but look at that, I barely have anything in Notification Center. Um, and multitasking, yes, of course, but it isn't true multitasking. And so, I mean, a lot of features that people would like to expect from their phones these days or for their main mobile device doesn't really exist on iOS. Now, I was thinking of waiting till iOS 7 came out, but I recently heard of a lot of reports saying that iOS 7 has been delayed and we probably won't see a launch till fall of this year, which, while is not entirely true because I'm pretty sure we'll see something in WWDC, um, I've had just about enough of it. This is a very, very stale OS. Nothing has changed. I haven't opened the App Store on my phone in easily the last couple of months. I'm pretty sure the last thing I downloaded was just Google. Every time I hear of an update for an app, that's basically all I do. I update the applications I already have. And I don't have that many applications on my phone um, because this is a very old phone. Uh, this is an iPhone 4. Uh, of course, I did buy it recently, but um, the internals and the specifications of the device are nowhere near the current generation, forget the next gen. This came out back in the year 2010, uh, three years ago, which to you and me may not seem a long time, uh, but for the way the technology progresses, that that's literally like an eternity ago. Uh, the screen is small, I never used to think it was small, but the kind of content that's being pushed out recently in the last year and a half or so does require larger screens, it requires larger processors. And I know that the iPhone 5 is a larger screen, but it isn't large enough for my liking. My hands are average to large sized hands, and as you guys can see, this phone just barely fits in my palm, or fits in my palm, but I could like close my whole hand around it. Mm. It's a small phone for someone like me. Now, while this isn't a bad phone by any means, I definitely recommend anyone to get this phone. If it was in their budget and they couldn't afford anything higher to get in Apple's ecosystem, this is a great way to get in uh, using the iPhone 4 or 4S. I would actually recommend the 4S over the 4 because it is speedier, it has Siri and things like that. Um, 
Um, but I'm kind of digressing from the point of this video, which is I'm going to be switching to Android. Now, uh, the launch of phones such as the Galaxy S4 and the HTC One have definitely got me convinced that Android does have a lot to offer over iOS. And while a few of the reasons that I wasn't switching earlier was the lack of applications available, I kind of thought over it for a while and thought to myself, what kind of applications do I use on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, I play Cut the Rope, I play Tiny Wings every once in a while, uh, and Temple Run, and those are basically the three games that I play um, and nothing much else. And even those are just to kill time whenever I'm really bored. Besides that, my phone is basically a social media device. I use it to consume content on the internet, such as YouTube videos, Vimeo videos every once in a while, uh, Vine, a little Vine GIFs, Twitter, Facebook, uh, if I didn't mention YouTube already, then YouTube. And that is essentially what I use my device for every single day. And this is no longer capable of providing that content to me in a way that I would like to receive it. Uh, it's very boring, there's not too much to do on the device. I'm sorry I mentioned this stuff already, but really that is the point of this video. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is, or what I'm going to be looking into doing, or getting rather, is uh, I, at my current financial situation, I am actually going to be going to the US in July, so I'm saving up for spending some of my money there. But before I leave, in the next month or so, I should probably uh, sell this phone here and pick up a Google Nexus 4. Now that, in my opinion, is one of the best Android phones available out right now, and that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, the Galaxy S4 is much better, it's a lot newer, it's bigger, it has a better screen, and those things might matter to someone, but a lot of uh, what matters to me in a phone is build quality. And while the Samsung Galaxy S4 has been ridiculed a lot because of its plastic polycarbonate body, I never really liked the body of the S3 either. And the HTC One just isn't available where I live. I would definitely go ahead and buy the HTC One. Mm. Again, is pretty pricey. The Google Nexus 4, on the other hand, is very affordable, has great build quality, and comes with stock factory vanilla Android, which is what I love to use on an Android phone or tablet or whatever. I don't really like skins, and I know HTC Sense is a good skin. It's fairly clean and close to Android, uh, close to vanilla Android, but if I can get vanilla, why not go for it? So hopefully you guys should see a video, maybe an unboxing, probably not an unboxing because there are billions of them all over the internet. The phone's been out for half a year now, but probably a review or an overview or my opinions or thoughts on the Google Nexus 4 if I pick one up. I will keep you guys updated, of course. Do remember to follow me on Twitter. I am going to make an effort to try to use that more to try to keep you guys updated um, off of the YouTube scene. And basically that's about it for this video. I'm sorry if it's getting long. I think, what is it, already 12 minutes long or something? No, it's not 12 minutes. So, yeah. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do remember to leave it a thumbs up by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of this video somewhere. And for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, etc, please do remember to subscribe to my channel. I have one to two videos up every single week. I work hard, I push my HD content just for you guys. So if you enjoyed it, please do remember to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.